push back to the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling that overturned the constitutional right to abortion coming from the World Health Organization Wednesday. I want to reaffirm WHO's position. All women should have the right to choose when it comes to their bodies and health. Full stop. During the U.N. agency's first news conference since the top U.S. court's decision last week, the WHO's director general calling the move a setback, explaining that access to safe abortion should be considered health care. The evidence is irrefutable. Limiting access to safe abortion costs lives and has a major impact, particularly on women from the poorest and most marginalized communities. The battle over abortion rights in the U.S. now seeing advocates taking up the issue in state courts with lawsuits aimed at stopping abortion bans triggered by the Supreme Court's decision. Back to the WHO for updates on two of the globe's hot button health concerns. First, when it comes to monkeypox, the virus has now been identified in more than 50 new countries, including Canada and the WHO now investigating reports of infected children with two cases out of the UK among those on their radar. As of now, we don't have any severe cases, but it's an age group that we are really concerned about. And while a key WHO panel ruled last week that the outbreak did not represent a public health emergency, the agency is still closely tracking the spread. They also advised that I should recombine them quickly based on the evolving situation, which I will do. As for COVID-19, the other global health issue they addressed, the WHO is saying the pandemic is changing, but it's not over. With the spread now being driven by the BA4 and BA5 variants in many places, and week over week, they report cases are on the rise in 110 countries, causing overall global cases to increase by 20 percent. And deaths have risen in three of the six WHO regions. Canada is among the nations seeing a jump in infections. Melissa Duggan, City News.